So, try natin i-review yung mga data natin. Alright. So, again, this one on the left side is using uh, Asherai psychometric chart and this one is using yung KRL. Alright. Um, by the way, baka na-confuse kayo ano itong, ano itong 3.1. This one is cooling coil capacity. I think this one is naka tons. Okay. So, remember that we have uh, in terms of BTU per hour, we have 12,000 BTU in one ton. So, conversion lang yun, sir. So, 37, okay, uh, 3 to 6, one ton is equivalent to 12,000 BTU per hour, equal sign. So, this one is approximately 3.1. So, itong value na to is in terms of ton. So, ibig sabihin, yung, yung capacity, okay, yung cooling capacity mo dito sa process na to is 3.1 tons. So, now, try natin mag-verify ng mga values using yung concept, okay, na napag-aral natin, okay. So, considering na meron kang isang air handling unit, okay, so, gusto mo may verify, ito yung data na binigay sa'yo ng yung supplier, okay, kunwari distributor siya, pwede mong ma-verify yung mga capacity na yun kung tama ba yung pinaglalagay nila doon sa specification. So, here is the no typical data, nakalagay dyan yung kung ilang rows, uh, ng, ng copper tubes kung ilan yung uh, pin spacing like for example 10 pins per inch face area this is the model and then quantity flow rate air side values dry bite value on coil is 31.3 wet bulb is 20.3 relative humidity is 36 and then off coil condition is 10.8 so i-verify natin kung tama ba yung nilagay nila kasi minsan may daya yan okay so Again, let's go here. Gamitin natin yung ating Asherai psychometric chart. Gamitin natin yung SI, since SI yung given. Alright, so C level, walang problema dyan. And then add state points. So, ang given na on coil, okay, add points lang, no? We have 31.3, right? 31.3. And then, wet bulb is 20.3, alright? Apply. Okay. Now, sa airflow, ang binigay is 10 point. Oops. Palitan natin yung airflow. Airflow, pwedeng maging uh, cubic meter per second. Ang binigay is 10.7. Uh, okay. So, lagay lang natin na liters or standard value. So, in terms of liters per second, multiply lang natin ng 1,000 yan. No? Kasi uh, cubic meter is 10.3. So, we have 10, 7, 6, 0. 7, 6, 0. Liters per second. Okay. This is on coil. Okay. On coil condition. Apply. Alright. And then, add point again. Meron tayong off coil condition. Off coil. Off coil. Same yung ating value. So, Connect lang natin yan. Gawin natin cooling coil. Air handling unit. Alright. So, apply. By the way, apply. Oops. Please enter the dry bulb. Oops. Hindi natin nalagay. The off coil is 10.8 dry bulb. And the wet bulb is 10.7. Uh, Pwede rin yung relative humidity kanina. Binigay na 98.4. So, 10.7. Okay. Lagay ko yung relative humidity para may iba naman. So, we have 98.4. Uh, Okay, yung given. So, here's the capacity. Right? Apply. Ito yung ating process. Pansin ninyo. This is the on-coil condition and this, this is the off-coil condition. So, ang nakalagay sa spec is 356. Okay? 356. Tama? Nakalagay ay 356. Okay? 356. Tapos, ang nakuha natin ay 352. Konting diferensya. Alright? Konting diferensya. In terms of kilowatt yan. Ha? Kilowatt means kilojoule per second. And then sensible is 352. And then sensible is 267 dito. Ito ay 270. So near lang rin naman. Okay. This one is the energy in terms of watt per hour. That is basically, and that's the latent heat capacity. Alright. So dito, using... Uh, software, 
regardless kung anong gamitin mo, yung Green Hack, yung Azure Ray, yung Petra, any software na available, pwede mo ma-double check kung tama yung data na sinabit sa iyo. So, for example, consultant ka ng building, ikaw yun yung design and then you have to select uh, air handling unit or pan coil units or any air handling unit, then mo, gusto mong ma-verify yung capacity kasi of course, uh, may bidding yan. Okay, so yung iba mga subcontractors or suppliers, minsan dadayain yung mga values. So, mas maganda kung alam mo i-verify yung mga values na yan. Okay, so take note, dito sa problem na to, may pinakitang water side. Kaya alam na sa air side pa lang tayo. But later on, I hope again, magkaroon ako ng ibang tutorial to verify the capacity on the refrigerant side, including water of course, water as a coolant. Okay. Next, try pa natin. Okay. This one is again another specification in English system naman. Alright. So, um, lagay ko lang, okay, palitan ko, gawin kong IP and then edit state point. Okay. So, delete ko lang to. Pwede nating i-delete like this. Okay. Right click lang then delete. Add point. Ang given ay na on coil condition is ah, may mixing. Uh, this is nice. Oops, so wala pala. Walang fresh air na given. So, pwede rin mag, uh, magkaroon ng mixing by the way. Okay. So, sa air side, we have 84.5 degrees Fahrenheit on coil and then 68.3. So, lagyan natin ha. 84.5 and then 68.3 yung wet bulb 68.3 so yung relative humidity is 43.9 pinakita dito sa submetal is 43.9 so tama then ang cfm niya is 32550 okay airflow is start ng cfm 32550 tama double check natin 32550 and then off coil condition is 56.7 56 apply lang to no apply this is again the on coil condition and then merong kang off coil condition off coil bal 56.7 lagay natin yung rh kasi binigay naman verify natin kung tama yung binigay sa sa submetal so 95.8 95.8 Okay, so apply Ang, ang wet bulb is 55 Double check natin 55 or 56 No problem 55.9 or 56 na yung value So apply And then This one is cooling coil Pwede mong i-connect as cooling coil And then apply So nakita natin yung crop Okay So again This is the on coil condition And then off coil the total capacity is in, in terms of tons is 106.2. Ilan to? Capacity is 129. Hindi naka tons. Okay. So, 1292. Okay. 1292. Dito sa ating uh, is 129. Okay. So, mayroong konting differentia. So, pagka mayroong konting differentia, of course, you can ask yung supplier but my difference. Okay? That's the purpose. Okay? Pagka may valid reason sila doon sa submetal nila, bakit may konting deviation, then titignan mo kung valid. Okay? Baka naman mamaya mayroong mga losses, may nilagay na, uh, for example, ibang accessories that leads to the change in capacity. Okay? The humidification value, latent heat capacity, sensible heat is 0 0.78. Tingnan natin kung doon sa submetal is my uh, sensible heat. Oops. Uh, wala so far akong makita. But anyway, it's, it's fine. Most important is yung total capacity is matching. Okay? Or near to each other. Itong air pressure drop is 0.8 inch water gauge. So of course, pagka nag-flow yung air to the coils, there will be some uh, pressure losses. Right? So, this one is uh, another example. So, merong uh, air side and then water side capacity. So, that's uh, for now. Uh, I hope you learned something again with this uh, tutorial. And so, in summary, uh, for this tutorial, psychometry as part of the HVAC 
and our fundamentals. We we'll learn about the background and history of psychometry. We review the basic uh, of psychometry, the chart as well as the air properties. We use the psychometric uh, chart and deal with the processes. We identify air properties using manual, using the chart itself, and get the values of air properties, other other properties of air given the dry bulb and wet bulb. And then we use the software, different software, including Asheray, uh, Petra, Carrier, and so on. And then we have the processes calculation. We use your manual calculation and try to match it with the software, including Asheray again, and Carrier. All right. So with that, I hope you learned something, and uh, I hope that you continue supporting Edux Space. I would like to hear your comments your feedback, your suggestion, and uh, please share the good news to, to others. Thank you very much and see you next time.